Welcome back to the Romania River channel and my playthrough of The Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition Combat Rebalanced mod. Well, I did most of the heavy lifting. Now I'm just gonna head back and see what I can uh, get on with in town. Because gods know this place is fucking weird. Really, I'm curious where Triss is. Though I have been um, relatively recently converted over to um, Team Yen, I do still give a shite. <sighs> Please don't tell me I went into the. No, it's not. Okay. Love this place though. The Dwarven architecture really speaks to me on a deep level. A deep perverted level. Only <laughs> Philippa Isleheart may enter. Alright, I keep forgetting this place is a maze though. You wanted to discuss something? I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demoven's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. You gotta go save Prince Penis. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember. We need his blood. I remember. Great. 
<sighs> Hopefully this doesn't end with bloodshed, but... Penis is kind of a dick. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. <laughs> Penis is a bit of a cock. <laughs> Jesus. The commoners claim it's our princess. Sir, Lord, you'll never. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Burden. I keep order and Vergen. Not doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath, squirrels, everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them. You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Roll it down, you surly dog! Change your so, who will the Witcher side with? Oh, the, the, the prince has a Say, Witcher, come, Witcher, come over here. Say, Witcher, come over here. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Guilt must be proven. Power. Otherwise, it's Roll vigilante it down, justice. You silly dog. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No, thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. 
My mm. goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an itch in her da's britches. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Bergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. The prince has a coming, they think. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the bargain. Okay, save. And where in the fuck Sir, is... Lodge will never be on the same side. Who will the witcher Humans son? only care how their asses rise at this station. I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. Yep, I'm in the right way. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. Hmm. Let's see if Penis gets lynched. Who will the witches? Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. Rolling down, you surly dog! I hope at least you'll refrain from doing anything. I want to speak with the prince. You're unique then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. <laughs> we won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence. I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, master. <laughs> Are you here to kill me, monster slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed their royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. 
Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. Hmm. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Go get the lads! We won't stand for this! Oh, ah, my hand! I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. Give us this half power! Rolling! Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven harbor? Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served a virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throwing their weight about too much they are. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to hmm. poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who will manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them! You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. Hey. Farewell. Give us this half that. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel. Bergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why. The mongrel covered. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia mm. during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretended to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. 
He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stannis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, Yoko. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they want it, nobody but Stannis could do it. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can he? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. So you've forgotten how you tried to bribe me when I was at your house? How about that, snout face? This is slander. There are no witnesses, Witcher. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree, or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? Okay. The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure. And royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. 
Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Squirtal units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. Okay. But that's it for now, because it is 25 minutes. Damn, are things getting interesting. Hmm. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.